What's up, guys? Notch has given us a challenge, and I have risen to the occasion. In response to the new restrictions on breeding and the baby animals, I've created this. Cakes mob compression system. CMC system takes acres of farm down to three squares. This will work for any mob, though with chickens you'll have to fill these holes and feed them from the top. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm going to come out with a chicken system in a little bit. That'll be much better for them. And as you can see, they're all fed up already. I'm sure by the time I finish, I'll be able to get some hearts. <laughs> there we go. And this is a way to mass produce lots and lots and lots of mobs. Whenever you want. The basic premise. is simply I installed the back wall with all the machinery I wanted I installed the front wall at the time it was 2 by 3 which is plenty to get two sheep in there I can press these blocks closer with normal pistons and then from that structure I built all the rest of this all the machinery everything that's needed to automatically harvest going around the back We can see there's a row of sticky pistons that are activated by that lever. And if you look, there's a glass block in the middle. Very important, it stops them from smothering to death on this side. Set a stairs facing this side so the ones in the middle get pushed over here. And what happens is when you want to harvest automatically, you press the lever and they fall down hole created by that piston. I've set it up so they all return back to here for testing purposes. And they take some damage falling. You can tell I've been experimenting a while. I didn't really design that for maximum survivability. I just designed it to help the tests along as much as anything. Alright, my other method for harvesting, and this is why you sheep, because you can milk from underneath, you can get eggs if you have water down there, but you can't shear the sheep without getting them out one at a time. That's what this track is for. You need to make sure the cart is against the block here and make sure the track curves around without this track here going up and you do that like this what that does is it pulls out a sheep I got a baby and that's fine because you can dye them and you can trim them and then you can kill them die sheeps I've grown to hate sheep after all the jailbreaks they've had. But that's okay because Cake's mob compression system is not designed to be painless. Oh, ha, ha. Pro tip, these fence posts make great task lab stairs. Alright, if you don't have something like this, I'd recommend a half slab and a full slab because it helps you get under the blocks easier. And I'll go over the wiring quick, just so those without as much redstone experience can have a quick look. Um, throughout this video, I'm going to have just overlays of fun stuff I've done. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Should be really interesting. From here, with the lever on the side of the block, there's a torch. And this could be very easily covered up just by... placing some blocks down. I wanted to make this as visible as possible though. Above all of the redstone parts I have glass because this is outside and rain or snow can just knock out redstone and tracks and any of that. It's something to watch out for. The wire goes along here and because I want the signal to go down I used a torch. Wire, a repeater, into this block here 
torch on the side, next to the bottom piston, block in the middle, and redstone wire on top, and that'll take care of these pistons. Now if you don't want to use the drop method of automatic harvesting, you can leave it there. Or if you want to, for example, crush chickens, and just have water underneath them as a method of gathering, you'd have another row of pistons here and have them all be solid blocks on this side. And maybe stairs facing the safety spot in the middle. But if you want to dump them like I have, just have another wire from there. Hello sheeples. That is not very fast, but it's pretty cool. A torch and wire leading up to the other piston. Once again, all very easily concealable. And if you accidentally knock that out, you restore from backup if you're me. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys this. I'm going to try to do this in my main world once I have the resources. I'm going to be working on a special system just for chickens. I think that'll be much more effective for chickens. But this is this is the best I think anyone's thought of yet for all the other mobs. And I'm really happy about it. I hope you all enjoyed. And let us all say goodbye to each other. Goodbye, Mr. Baby Sheep. Thank you for your wolves. Bye, everyone. Aww. And like I said, that is because of the damage they've taken during testing. They will get hit once going through there, but if you're just using this for breeding, not a problem. Actually, I think what we should really do to end this is to engage the special sheep disposal system. And afterwards we can see how many sheeps we have left. Oh! I forgot, I knocked the piston out! My bad guys, sorry. Ah, uh, some survived. Oh. Uh, they'll be back. Okay guys, thank you for your time. Thank you for viewing. If you didn't like, leave me an irate comment. If you did, subscribe and thumbs up. Cause I really appreciate it and it helps more than you know. Bye guys. <laughs>